This tutorial will introduce you to the level and describe the leveling staff, the leveling process including use of reference points, reducing levels, booking levels and traversing with the level. The level consists of a telescope that's set up by adjusting the screws around its base. It will have one or more bubble levels and adjusting the screws allows you to centre the bubble and then once set up the instrument will stay level when you rotate it. The gun sight here on the top helps you roughly line up the instrument with the measuring staff and then the, the tangent screws on the side are used to make small movements left and right until you're fully aligned with the staff. The eyepiece can be adjusted to improve the visibility of the crosshairs or graticule and focus is controlled either by a knob on the side or by an additional ring on the eyepiece. A levelling staff can be made of wood, aluminium or fibreglass and they extend in most cases up to 5 metres. The staff's divided up into 10 millimetre increments and with practice you can estimate heights to within 1 or 2 millimetres. Just a word of caution if you're using an old level you may find that when you look through the telescope that the staff is upside down and this can lead to misreading errors. Leveling is the act of measuring the height of a point relative to another point, often referred to as a datum. This reference point can simply be a designated point on your site which you give an arbitrary height such as 100 metres, or you may have measured it relative to a point with a known height above sea level. Ordnance survey maps include heights of both benchmarks and spot heights above sea level. Benchmarks are found on buildings and boundary walls, but have to be used cautiously as they are no longer maintained. Spot heights are typically placed in the centre of road junctions and were traditionally considered less accurate than benchmarks. Whatever you choose, make sure that you document it in your survey notes so that future researchers can understand the precision of your work. If you've set up a reference point on site, this would be known as a temporary benchmark or TBM. Leveling is usually not used as a primary surveying tool, but rather to add detail to other records such as earthwork surveys or excavation plans and sections. You will therefore probably be annotating existing records with either the heights that you measure or with a number or letter code that links to your written record of the measurement. Heights are usually written down as read by the surveyor and then their height relative to the site datum is calculated later. This is called reducing the levels. This calculation stage can be removed by entering the figures directly into a, a spreadsheet on a tablet or smartphone or by using a suitable app. There are different methods of recording or booking the levels. Whichever you choose it's helpful to have a pro forma sheet to record your levels, leaving space to add the reduced levels later. When you begin levelling, the position of the instrument is not critical as it's only recording height differences. It should however be placed higher than your reference point and the surfaces that you are measuring. If this is not possible then the instrument could be moved in the following way. First set up your instrument and take a back sight to your reference point. Next move the staff to a second point, turn the level to face it and take a foresight. You then move the instrument while leaving the staff on the same point. Take a back sight to the staff and then move it to a third point and take a foresight and then once again move the instrument to take a back sight to the staff before moving it on to a new position. You can repeat this as many times as you need to get your level close to the area you want to record and once set up you can take as many measurements as you need without moving the level. Looking at the same example, here you can see the figures recorded how they were booked using the height of collimation method and then the reduced levels calculated. The levels set up at position 1 and a backsight is made to a temporary benchmark point A which has a height of 100 metres. The backsight reading plus the height of the TBM gives us the height of the centre of the level, known as the height of collimation. Next the instrument is turned 
and the foresight is taken to point B. The height of collimation minus the reading of 0.7 metres gives us a height of 100.2 metres for point B. Next the instrument is moved to position 2 and a back sight is taken to point B. The previously calculated height of B plus the back sight reading gives us a new height of collimation of 101.4 metres. Next a foresight is taken to point C before moving the level to position 3. A back sight to C establishes the height of collimation at position 3. You can now take as many points as you require from this position. Again, taking the staff readings from the height of collimation will give the height of each point measured.